that is. Right, so what are your wind inputs? Gusty 25. Yeah. And it's not only Gusty 25, it's a cross bar. That's why I'm not using any flies. How's it going? Once again, this is the Death Wolf and welcome back to more of the flight vlogs. Um, it's been like six weeks, I think, no, three, three or four weeks since I flew because the weather was constantly bad. I cannot, uh, the ceilings are too low, even today they are so low, but uh, I wanted to fly so badly today. So we are doing circuits today. Uh, we are supposed to do the stalls and stuff, but uh, well, guess what? That's what we are supposed to do now. Uh, I was just getting the walk around there. Um, Taking the fuel out and stuff, so I'll see you guys in the flight. I'll take control for a sec. Okay. I hope you have enough space. Kruthik, tell me, are we clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're clear. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, you go ahead. Okay. Lights is required. Check. Transponder stand by. Check. Oh, be careful, it's gonna be loud. This one? Okay, so press. This is comp 2, this is comp 1. There you go. Six. Automated observation. Wind 300 zero zero at 14. Gusting 21. Visibility niner. Few clouds at 3,500, temperature 1-1, dew point 3, altimeter 3015. The IFR approach is localizer, runway 26. Landing and departing, runway 26. What's the altimeter? 3015. Inform ATC that you have information, golf. Okay. Golf. And we're just going for circuits. We are going to sell it. Uh, Porter 723 push us to ground. Tell it to ground? Five. Huh? We have to tell that to ground? Yeah. City ground, uh, Cessna 172, Fox 2 Echo Sierra, uh, Hangar 4, looking for circuits with information call. Juliet Echo Sierra, City Ground, Squad 0051, Runway 261310, 15, Gusting 25, Altima to 3016. Taxi Charlie, Delta, Contact Tower 118, Decimal 2, Holding Short, Runway 26. Taxi Charlie, Delta, Hold Short, Runway 26, Juliet Echo Sierra. What is it, 0015? 0051. Juliet Echo Sierra, just confirm was that for circuit? Hey, firm, Juliet Echo Sierra. How fast that was! Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So before we get taxiing, what do you want to do? Before we get taxiing? Brake check. Oh. Brake check, Quarter okay. Brakes check. Down. And then let's go. Okay, all right. And while we're taxiing, see here, taxi. You have checks to do while you're taxiing, right? Brake check and then instrument check. All right. Do you know what the instrument check is? Um, these things? Yeah, so let's taxi and at the first, oh my God, look at the helicopter. Oh, is that the military one? Yeah, my God, that's right. beautiful. 
That's a scary looking thing. I got so distracted. Um, the propellers are insane. <laughs> city Tower 4940 with you on the visual 26. 4940 City Tower 1300 at 15 gusting 25 altimeter 3016. 3016, uh, Porter 940. I bet the guns are hidden. 7960 is uh, holding short, we're ready to go again. So as we turn, look, as we turn left, they're out of control, as we turn left, wings to the left, balls to the right, heading indicator decreasing, compass is decreasing, same thing when we turn to the right, we want to go, turn to the right, wings to the right, balls to the left, heading indicator increasing, compass increasing. Okay. Except you never want to do it the way I just did. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you have control? Did I stop? Oh, I don't know, do you want to go into Porter? God damn this controller. Alright, uh, taxi apron our discretion. Uh, we'll pass you to the run up bay there uh, for now. Uh, Porter, 471. Oh, you go that fast? Zero contact center, airborne one three three decimal four one three zero zero fifteen gusting twenty five. That's probably fly GTA's airplane. Two three four in the air, clear for takeoff. Two six, just seven nine uh, six zero. City ground border seven two three rate taxi. Border seven two three runway two six one three zero zero at seventeen gusting twenty five altimeter three zero one six taxi Charlie Delta contact tower one one eight decimal two holding short runway two six. <laughs> she doesn't even six, uh, three, zero, one, stutter or yeah, bumble three. or anything. It's like perfectly clear. Go, okay, let's go. Stop two nine ground. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate the first circuit for you. Okay. And then after that you'll do all of them yourself. All right. So what do we want to do before we take off? The uh, engine checks? Pre-takeoff checks, pre right? Checks, yeah. If you're going to take off, pre-takeoff, after you've taken off, post-takeoff. Mm -hmm. If you're going to land, pre-landing, after you land, post-landing. Okay. So once you do your pre-takeoff checks. Okay, windows, doors, harnesses, check. Flight instruments, okay. So flight instrument is like all of these, right? Engine instruments are these, flight instruments are these. Okay, these are. So flight instruments checking, steady at zero, on the line, airport elevation, steady at zero. With the compass, yeah, and then um, wings level, ball centered. Okay, and then engine instruments, fuel sufficient, gauge is green, vacuum, ammeter. Well, I guess ammeter is not really engine, but um, what's next? Vacuum, press, temperature, fuel. That's it. Yeah, and then what's after the engine instruments? Okay, the max to bolt check. Right. Masters on check. Make sure read check. All right. Says required zero. Yep. Uh, trim for takeoff. Right. Tool to bolt. Controls free and correct. Okay. Very nice. Check. Go no go briefing. Face traffic. Radio set. So I know we didn't have a briefing for the go no go briefing. Yeah. Um, just because it's our first circuit lesson, but we'll add that next time. Um, the go no go briefing now. Before you take off, you want to give your passenger a go no go briefing. And what it includes is what you're going to do with your takeoff, like the purpose of you taking off, and the safety issues. Okay. So you're going to say, okay, passenger, we're going to be taking off on runway 26. We've got a headwind from the, or I mean, we've got a crosswind from the north, so it'll be a slight crosswind takeoff. Um, but other than that, it's a normal takeoff, so we won't be using any flaps. We're going to lift off at about 55, climb out at about 75, and we're going to join the circuit for circuit practice. Okay. Now, in the event of an engine failure on the runway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the throttle idle, make throttle cutoff, uh, apply brakes, and stop on the runway. Uh, in the event of an engine failure just after takeoff, I'm going to use minor turns, but most likely ditch the aircraft in the water. In the event of an engine failure after takeoff above circuit altitude, I'm going to turn back to the airport and land on the runway. Um, and the go to go part is um, the part where you decide to abort and take off. So if I'm not airborne, I'm going to make my go no go decision or decision point Foxtrot, just because it's halfway down the runway. So if I'm not airborne by Foxtrot, I'm going to abort the takeoff. Okay. Because I know I should be airborne by Foxtrot. That's 2,000 feet, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's basically it. All right. And then one radio set. One, one, three, so why don't you set the radios? What's next? Clear takeoff runway 26 uh, over to Toronto Airport and uh, 4471. Okay, takeoff clears. City Tower, postal to Radio Zero, Radio Delta. 
Juliet Echo Sierra, stand by, one more to land. Oh my god, she's yeah. so far away. It's gonna be like three, four, five minutes, I think. Almost uniform, Oscar Bravo, city ground, squad zero. What do you think that is? Right, so what are your wind inputs? I touch and go circuit. This way? So we'll just hold this here? Damn, <laughs> Is he gonna come here? <laughs> oh my god, it's gusty. It's, it's scary. <laughs> Damn. Oh, look how much he's... That, that angle was so steep. Damn. That is a terrible... Terrible gust. Oh, but look at that landing. They are like so much less runway to land. Are you okay with the gusts? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Taxi, Echo, if you feel uncomfortable at all, no, 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 not at all. We have zero vomit bags. <laughs> 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 no, just let me know if you're feeling uncomfortable. No, no. Echo Sierra, line up, wait, runway 26. Line up, runway 26, you're just here. Okay, let's line Refueler up. Refueler 9-5, ground. Uh, I'm going to park in your permission and go to fuel 5. Refueler 9-5, negative, stand by. Stand by, Refueler 9-5. It's better to training gust. Yeah, especially dual, where you, you know. Yeah. Juliet Echo Sierra, caution, white turbulence, dash 8 departed two and a half minutes ago, winds 310 at 15, gusting 23, clear takeoff, runway 26. Clear for takeoff, runway 26, Juliet Echo Sierra. Okay, I have control. Okay. So remember what we said with the takeoff? So. So line up on the center line? Yeah. Right? Okay. Full power. What's next? Gauge is green. Right, are our okay. gauge is green? Airspeed is alive. Yeah, so temperature pressure green. Airspeed is alive, we're rotating, 55 knots. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Uh, quarter six one two Rotate. Two for three Bravo. Or you can just wait on Bravo. Yeah, we got a crosswind today. Yeah. And then what's your best uh, rate of climb? It's 79. Right. So we'll maintain 80 just because I know where 79 is. Now, we've taken off. What do we do after our takeoff? After the L check. So what is that? The L check. The L check. So why don't you do an L check for me? So the altitude is moving, what's the altitude of climb? It's not moving. You want to say sufficient altitude? Okay, sufficient altitude. What's next? What's the altitude of climb? Right. Power is set. Yeah. Flaps up. So throttle full, mixture rich. And flaps up. And then flaps up. And then 750 AGL or ASL, we turn left. Now this turn is a gentle turn, right? Nothing yeah. more than 15 degrees. pushing now, taxi for new Completely uncoordinated. Dang this. Now I know we did do crosswind inputs, but just know because the wind is from uh, northwestish, you're gonna have to point sort of away or into it just so we keep our circuit pattern uh, level. Yeah. And what was the circuit altitude? Do you remember? What was the circuit altitude? Right. So 1,200 feet. I begin leveling out. Okay. There we go, 1250, speed up to cruise, and then power back to cruise. Right. Trim out the pressure. What leg are we on right now? Uh, the crossing leg. Right. So what leg are we going to turn to? Uh, downwind. Right. Now you see the shoreline? Remember yeah. that picture we saw about our circuit pattern here? Yeah. Just about the shoreline. Now we can do a 30 degree turn. Okay. Maintaining circuit altitude. And we'll turn on to our downwind. Okay. Now the downwind should be parallel to the runway. Yeah. The path, not the way you're pointing, the path should be parallel to the runway. So again, we have a wind from the north, so I'm going to point slightly towards the north. But notice if we look outside, see how our path is this way? See the runway? We're actually going parallel to it. So remember inside I said people here have a tendency to follow the shoreline? Yeah. You don't want to follow it curving inbound, you want to actually fly straight there. Okay. Towards this like island thing here. Okay, we're on downwind, what can we do? The pre-landing. Right, so remember, no, you want to memorize it. Remember what the pre-landing check was? The engine instrument. Right, so left to right, gauge is green, fuel sufficient, masters on, banks both, throttle set, I'll pull back to about 2000, start slowing down to 70, mixer's rich, fuel on, flaps is required. So today because it's gusty and it's a crosswind, I probably won't use any flaps. Um, we'll go to about 1500 RPM. Now see these boats here? This is where you want to start turning base. And you want to tell tower you're turning base now. So... What's that? City Center is Charlie Golf, Foxtrot, Romeo, X-ray. Oh, someone's... Golf, Foxtrot, Romeo, X-ray, City Center, stay in tension. Hi, yes, ma'am. Uh, we're uh, direct uh, Detroit uh, after transiting your zone. Right, yeah. Foxtrot, Romeo, X-ray, ultimate 3016. 
descend 2,500, cleared through the city control zone. 2,500 through the zone, thank you. Charlie, Juliet Echo Sierra on base for touch and go 26. Juliet Echo Sierra, winds 320 at 18, gusting 25, clear touch and go runway 26. Juliet Echo Sierra, thanks. Um, okay, so she, we should have done it earlier, but there was traffic, so it's not a big deal. Um, I want to approach at 70 knots, right? Yeah. But because it's gusting today, I also don't want to be too slow. So what I'm going to do is, again, we'll talk about this later with the wind inputs, but if it's gusting 20 knots and the wind speed is 10, the gust factor is about uh, 10 knots. So I'll add about half the gust factor to my approach. So I'll approach at 75 instead of 70. Okay. Um, again, you don't have to worry about the reasoning why. We'll talk about that on the ground. Just know I'm going to approach at 75 today instead of 70. And now, 750 ASL, I should be turning on to final. All right. And what part of the landing is this? It's a normal landing. No, no, but what, what, you remember the landing is broken down into three things? Yeah, yeah. So, so it looks like, like uh, so this is the approach, right? Yeah. yeah. So does it look like we're high or low? Yeah, it looks pretty much on track. Maybe a little bit low, so I'll add a little bit of power. So remember, if you're too fast or too slow, your pitch controls your airspeed. If you're too high or too low, your power controls your altitude. Yeah. So are we going to make the field? Yeah, of course. Okay, power to idle. Nose down. Continuing my approach. At this point, what I want to do is this. Flare. So it's not pulling up, it's trying to stay level above the runway. Right? Yeah. So I don't want the airplane to touch down, I'm going to keep pulling up, because I don't want to touch down at all, forcing it to stay afloat. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. I really don't want to touch down, but just before I stall, I'll touch down. Okay. Main wheels, nose wheel. Full power? Full power. Okay, you have control? Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Lift wheeler 95, proceed echo cross, runway 26, runway 24, field farm. Echo cross, runway 26, runway 24, lift wheeler 95. Remember, you need a little bit of right rudder? Yeah. Well, you need a lot in this airplane. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Damn this. It's gusty. No, you're doing good. You're fighting it off. A bit more right rudder, though, and then climbing out at 80 knots. Okay. Now what, you've just taken off, what do you want to do? The L check. Okay, so why don't you do an L check for me? Okay, so altitude is sufficient, uh, positive rate, uh, rate of climb. Okay. Full power, make sure reach, and uh, throttle pull and make sure reach, flaps up. Perfect. Now 750 ASL, let's turn. What is this leg called? Uh, the down, uh, crosswind leg. Right. Very nice. Echo Sierra, unable touch and go doing turbulence, departing at dash 8, say intention. We'll wave at Juliet Echo Sierra. Juliet Echo Sierra, roger. Right. Throttle down. Is it dash 8 on final? Uh, no, she said unable touch and go due to departing dash 8, what are your intentions? Oh, and I said we'll wave it. So what's circuit altitude? Kansas City Ground Porter 229, uh, we have 8 at hotel, negative PDT today, let's declare it's Ottawa. 7964, line up runway 26 on departure, climb 3000. 9 to 6 climb 3000 on departure, just 7964. Uh, Porter 229, city ground cleared to Ottawa. Okay, and we're on Dadman, so what can you be doing right now? Uh, the okay, so why don't you go to the pre-lining pre checklist. Okay, so the engine instruments, uh, the gauges are three. Yeah, check, okay. Uh, uh, we're left to right, left to right. Okay, next to both, uh, master's and battery. Porter 229, read back, correct. Master's battery on, lights as required, even if master's on, we should reach. Kino from Oscar Bravo, turn Carlton. Uh, quarter as required, flaps, none. Good, and let's turn base now. She already cleared us touch and go, so we don't have to call her. Uh, okay. Okay. First, let's so let's turn base. In the circuit contact center, airborne 133, Delta 413, 15, gusting 25, clear takeoff, runway 26. Just uh, 6 contacting departure, one time order, 7964. Very nice. Why don't we need flaps on uh, crosswind? Um, I'll talk to you about that when we do the, the crosswind briefing. Okay. You can, but you don't want to use too much. Yeah, yeah. Julian Echo Sierra, caution Mike German, slow dash 8 rolling now, and 320 15 gusting 25, clear touch and go runway 26. Clear touch and go runway 26, Julian Echo Sierra. Now what altitude do we want to be turning final? 750. Are we high or are we low? Uh, almost there. 
Are we about to turn final though? Are we close to final? No. So are we high or are we low? So we are low. So what are you gonna do? Air power. Nice. And like a little bit speed jump. Okay. Feeling that. Oh. Good job. Yeah, so this, this airport gusts a lot, so do your best trying to fight the gusts. It's fantastic practice. Okay, now you have your altitude, but look outside. Do you look high or do you look low or do you think you're on track? I may be accurate, but you can manage. Yeah, I think you look like you're uh, pretty good no, pretty good altitude. Happy lights say red, so maybe we're a little bit low, but... Yeah, so you don't have to flare too much, just try to stay level. Try to stay at one altitude over the runway. Very nice, okay, let's get back to center line, full power. Oh, holy shit, that was... Dude, those, <laughs> the way you fought off those gusts was amazing. That was actually beautiful. Because not only do we have gusts, but we had wake turbulence from that dash 8 that just took off. Uh, yeah, yeah, of that was insane. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so so remember, I wouldn't even send... Oh, yeah, okay, go ahead and do your stuff. Okay, so sufficient altitude, positive rate of climb, full power, uh, uh, make sure reach, flaps up. Uh, 750, you can turn. Beautiful. Yeah, so I wouldn't even send kids solo in this weather, in these weather conditions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and this is your, that was your first landing, so I think that was amazing. Okay, are we about to turn base? Uh, 70 speed. Okay, well we can start turning at these boats, right? Yeah. yeah. So why don't you turn base and tell her you're turning base. Okay, city tower, zero echo zero, I'm turning for base. Well, for a touch and Echo Sierra Winds 320 16, gusting 25, clear touching the runway T6. Clear touching the runway 26, clear Echo Sierra. Gusting 25. Damn. And it's not only gusting 25, it's a crosswind. Crosswind too, yeah. That's why I'm not using any flaps. But I do, I think you're doing amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even trying to like, uh, uh, sugar coat it or molly, molly coddle you or any of that stuff. Like. Okay, remember if the wind's coming from there, yeah. we're gonna get drifted off, right? Look yeah. at the city. See how we're moving to the side of the buildings? Yeah. You wanna turn the airplane into that wind? Okay. So we stop that drift. And then, next part you wanna ask yourself, are you high or low? We are um, a bit low, I think. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Add power. Okay, add some power. So we're supposed to be on final at this altitude, right? Yeah. And you want to maintain 75 knots. So how do you how do you get a higher airspeed? Add airspeed, pitch down and power. Oh. Right, so pitch down for the airspeed and then add some power for the altitude. Okay. Holy shit, man. Good, now look outside. Are we high or are we low? Uh, almost there. Yeah, looks good. So just maintain this for now. I was laughing on the border. <laughs> now it's fine. <laughs> Are you going to make the field? Yeah. Power idle. Power idle. So we might not be able to touch down on this one. Why do you think? We can. I don't know. Because look how fast you're going. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to touch down. Why don't you overshoot? Okay. And then say City Tower, Juliet Echo Sierra on the overshoot. City Tower, Juliet Echo Sierra on the overshoot. 
Chile Echo Sierra, Roger. Uniform from Oscar Bravo, winds 33015, gusting 25, clear touching over runway 26. Do the ATC know how terrible can uh, the weather can be? What's that? Uniform Yeah, they know. They know how strong it is. But they know that you're with an instructor right now, so they don't say anything. Turn crosswind now. Keep the downwind in tight. Turning crosswind leg. So what'd she say there? Turn crosswind leg. Yeah. So turn crosswind. And what else did she say? She said keep the downwind in tight. So what does that mean? So downwind in tight means this. Look. Um, she wants you to turn an early downwind because she probably has traffic on short final. Okay. Or not short final, but approaching final. So turn here. On tight, so is that a location? No, there's no specific location. Just turn downwind earlier than you usually would. Oh, okay. 12-0-0-7-7, Okay, see how we have one white, one red? Yeah. This means we're on a good climb pattern, but look at our airspeed, it's so high. I'm going to slow us down, and I'm going to slip to lose some altitude. Charlie, Delta, short to 6, South Angle Alpha. City ground, good afternoon, Porter 943, requesting push to start 8 Alpha. So look at our airspeed, 80 knots. Yep, now watch as we float. Look how much we're going to float. That's there. number 2, runway 26, following the Cessna 172. Almost a Fox truck. Tight downwind. Number two, uh, like for down. But that's with 80 knots, yeah. right? Imagine with 100, what it would be like. Okay, let's go. Uniform Oscar Bravo, winds 34011, gusting 24, clear touch and go runway 26. Clear 26 here from Oscar Bravo. 49816, the you're following is the Beautiful, look at the setting. Line. Now look behind. Quarter 9816. Look behind. We're exactly on the runway heading. Yeah. Or runway track, rather. Okay, so we've just taken off. What can you do? Uh, the L check. Okay, do well, an L check. Well, I did the, uh, the sufficient altitude, uh, pursue rate of climb, full power, and make sure it's no plans. Nice. Uh, we can turn to down in there. Juliet Echo Sierra number 3, runway 26 following at dash 5 miles final through 1,500 feet. Advise in sight, caution wing turbulence. Looking for the traffic, Juliet. Looking for the traffic, Juliet Echo Sierra. I heard number 3. And yeah, so we're number 3, following at dash 8, 5 miles final. Okay. Um, advise in sight. So what that means is. We're number three in sequence for landing. Um, our traffic is five miles that way from the airport, and we have to tell tower when we have them in sight. Okay. Okay, but don't remember, circuit altitude oh, is 1250, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while all these things are happening, you still have to be able to fly the airplane as tower wants you to fly it. Of course. Okay, do you have our traffic in sight? Yeah. Okay. So you can say traffic in sight, Julian, sir. City ground, get up, there's Echo 172, Fox Red, Juliet, Papa, Mike, with information, hotel. Fox Red, Juliet, Papa, Mike, City ground, squawk 5305, stay in touch. Juliet, Papa, Mike, we'd like to join the circuit, squawking 5305. Order 9816, winds 330 at 11, gusting 25, clear to land, runway 26. Clear to land, runway 26, quarter 9816. Juliet, Echo, Sierra, dash 8, your following is now 3 miles final, 31,200. Traffic inside, Juliet, Echo, Sierra. Juliet, Echo, Sierra, roger. Hey, Sarah, you're from Oscar Bravo, we're going to Uniform Oscar Bravo, turn crosswind now, all advice. Okay, so, gauges are green, max to boot, masters and battery on, uh, avion dispensers on, uh, make sure reach, throttle require, flaps up. Kelly, pop mic, runway 26, one 330 at 14, gusting 24, altimeter 3017, taxi Charlie, Delta, contact tower 118, decimal 3, we'll make sure runway 26. Charlie Delta holding short 26, Juliet Papa Mike. They are going to have like a terrible turbulence now. Yeah, remember your weak turbulence avoidance? Charlie called Papa. Yeah, but remember how you land above the glide slope? Look at look at his glide slope. Okay. Plan to approach above that. So let's turn base. She already cleared us in sequence, so we don't have to call her now. Hold short runway 26, tower 18-2, Porter 222 
Lima, Tango, yeah. Papa, City Tower, say attention. Tango, Papa, with you at 2000. Lima, Tango, Papa, say attention. Uh, we'd like to pass through the zone south of the shoreline if possible, ma'am. Lima, Tango, Papa, 703017, quick through the city control zone, uh, south of the Okay, so we touched down before right, Charlie, south between south Delta and Charlie. Yeah, yeah, so you know yeah, you yeah, want to yeah, touch down at Charlie or later. And you also want to approach below his glide speed, right? Yeah. Quarter 9816, taxi Echo Bravo, contact ground 12.7. What the hell is that? Echo Bravo, ground 2107. Is that an airplane? Yeah. Juliet Echo Sierra, dash 86 sitting at Echo, and 33015 gusting 23, clear touch and go runway 26. Clear touch and go runway 26, clear to go see run. There's that wake turbulence. Yeah. Spots in power. Don't let your airspeed drop too low. You can just wait on Bravo. Wait on Bravo, Porter 9816. He knows. Okay. Power back a little bit. Okay, now find me 75 knots without the power. And the city center ground is so wabas. There you go. That Porter FPO, stand by for the off our clearance to Kings. So you got Porter 943, request taxi. 43 runway 261330 Okay, power idle. Delta contact tower 118 decimal two holding short runway 26. No nose down like that, otherwise it'll gain so much airspeed. Look, you're almost at 90. One city ground cleared to Kingston via the Bullmat 6 departure. Olava. Good, this is perfect. Exactly what you're doing right now. 6322. Olava's 201, character of Kingston Airport, Bullmat 6 departure, Olava. Squawk runway 26, squawk 6322. Papa, 201, read back, correct. Tower, Porter 222, short of runway 26, with the traffic ready and signals for departure. Porter 222, roger. Beautiful, full power, let's go. Running out of runway. Very nice. So that's exactly wake turbulence avoidance. Bravo, wind 33013, gusting 21, clear touch and go runway 26. Clear 26, here from off the Bravo. And don't worry about landing hard. Yeah. That's not my concern. I'm actually really happy that given this crosswind, you're still able to maintain center line. There you go. Now we're, well, okay, well, you had it and then you lost it. Juliet Echo Sierra, caution, wake table, and slash H is spread of winds 33010, gusting 20, clear, touch and go, runway 26. Touch and go, 260, Echo Sierra. Nice reaction though. Wait. See that? That was your stall reaction. There's, yeah, there's the instant. There was down full power. Beautiful. 10763 starts slowing down your number 3 runway 26 following a 1. So what did that tell you? See how we were approaching slowly and one gust came and we were close to a stall? Yeah, That's yeah. why we increased our stall, our approach speed. So let's find 75 knots though. We don't want to float all the way down the runway. Okay. And tower golf tango off a short time. Are you high or low? Golf tango off roger. You can make it there. Are you sure? It's too red though. It's too white, so that means you're too high, right? It's too white? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. Does that look good to you? No. <laughs> it kinda, but no, no, it's not. It's white. Now it's red, see? Well, now it's white. Okay, power idle? Power idle. Look at our airspeed. We're 90 knots. We're gonna float all the way down this runway. Probably gonna overshoot maybe. It's okay, I gave you full flap. Oh, you don't do that. Don't balloon like that. Hey. Okay, let's go. Juliet Echo Sierra wins 3 0 15, go staying 21, clear touching go runway 26. Clear touching go runway 26, Juliet Echo Sierra. Are we high or low? We are high. What are you gonna do? Power Zydo? Ground Porter 229, like your close taxi. So the other thing you can do, remember your forward slip? Show me forward slip to the right. And then left rudder. Taxi Charlie Delta 18-2 hold. That's your forward slip, right? Yeah. 2-2-9. Tower Julia Papa Mike is at Delta Willing Show 26 for the enable. Okay, let's go. Uh, good afternoon, Porter's uh, 388, the left-hand visual, 26. Porter 388, City Tower, 30015, Gusting 20, Altimeter 3017. Porter 388. Okay, let's turn. 
final. Alpha Charlie, Charlie, just watch the dash eight exiting on the Echo. Okay, to watch out for the. Uh, and you saw his uh, approach. Yeah, he just kind of below us. Okay, so let's maintain that. But now you don't want to get too high, right? See, the two Pappy lights are still white. Say full stop. Full stop, uh, zero to go zero. Juliet Echo Sierra, check your uh, waving the turbulence. Caution turbulence, one three zero zero fifteen, go sing twenty one, clear touching, go runway T six. Uh, looking for full stop, Juliet Echo Sierra, confirm we're waving the wake turbulence. Juliet Echo Sierra, re-clear to land, runway T six. Juliet Echo Sierra, thanks. Okay, you have control. Right, the tower, Lima Delta Hotel, we're just going to be uh, doing a couple of circles over the town, and then we'll be. So, what approach speed do you want? Seventy five. Uh, uh, okay, so that's fine. Seventy five. Roger, uh, traffic just to fire the airport's an R forty four helicopter climbing up to one thousand. So leave the power idle. You know you're high. So power idle. Okay, we check that. For, and how are you going to find seventy five? Pull back. We're going to add some flaps for us just because we're way too high and we need to land. They are so goddamn high. Uniform Oscar Bravo spacing is not going to work. Pull up and go around. Uniform Oscar Bravo. Don't stall. Don't pull up like that. Beautiful. Bravo, turn crosswind now, number two. Beautiful. Stop. Full stop. Pull back and stop. Pull back and stop. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes. Okay. Let's exit on Echo. All right. Juliet Echo Sierra, taxi Echo Bravo today from Monitor Ground 1, Twin Decimal 7. Taxi Echo, Juliet Echo Sierra. Uniform Oscar Bravo, okay, let's turn let's crosswind. Crosswind, Uniform Oscar Bravo. Juliet Pop Mike, Wind 30015, gusting 21, cleared, touching go runway 26. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are still on the runway right now. Oh, he's just on the runway. Okay, you gotta cross the whole short line, right? Uh, oh, all right, all right. Uh, is this the wrong frequency? When That's I... tower, so this is ground. Oh, you changed it. Uh, okay, you have to troll. She said taxi and just went underground, right? What does that mean? Yep. We'll to uh, no, so we don't have to call ground. When she says monitor, okay. that just means listen to the frequency, pay attention, but taxi in on your own. What did she say exactly? She said Julia Echo Sierra, exit Foxtrot, uh, or sorry, exit Echo Bravo, uh, monitor ground, 1217. Lima Delta, shall the R44 helicopter is just on the Okay, so I have, uh, actually not you, I don't. You have the checklist, why don't you do the post landing checks? Why don't you do your shutdown check? Alright. Hey, so total idle, yeah. Jazz 7966, ground. Go ahead. Jazz 7966. Nothing? Okay, avionics masters. Oh. Oh, it's 23-0. Oh, man. Oh, freaking awesome.